Hi everyone, this video presents the solution to example 13 on rotated vessels. So here is the problem. Locate, first, locate the vertical axis of rotation. Then next, the angular speed of rotation in RPM of the U-tube shown so that the pressure of the liquid at the midpoint of the U-tube and at C are both zero. And third, also compute the pressure at the closed end D in kilopascals if the liquid has a specific gravity of 0.92. So this is the given figure. We have a uh, YouTube with vertical legs, 200 mm height, and 600 mm horizontally, A, B, C, D. A is open, D is closed. Then for the midpoint and at C to have equal pressure, and since they are on the same uh, level, the axis of rotation should be between them, and it should be the vertical axis of symmetry as shown in the figure so because the midpoint is 300 mm from b or from left of c then the answer would be the vertical axis should be 450 mm right of b or 150 mm left of c and this should be the corresponding imaginary parabolic surface of revolution of equal pressure, which is zero because the pressure at C and at the midpoint must be zero. So it should pass through A, which is open to the atmosphere because the pressure there is zero. So for to answer the first question, the vertical axis of rotation should be 450 mm right of B or 150 mm left of C as shown. For the second part, let's solve for the angle, angular, or the speed of angular speed of rotation. Let's denote the height of the vortex or paraboloid from vortex to BC as H. Then by squared property of parabola, H as to 0.15 square equals H plus 0.2 as to 0.45 square because this is 0.45. Solving for H, H is 0 0.025 meter, substitute 0 0.025 into the formula 0 0.0005589 omega square radius 0.15 square, that's for H. Then we can solve for omega 44.59 revolutions per minute. And finally, for the pressure at D at the close end, knowing the pressure at C is zero, we sum a pressure from C to D. So pressure at C Going up minus, minus specific weight of liquid, 0 0.92 times 9.81 times 0 0.2, because CD is 0 0.2, equals pressure at D. Since pressure at C is 0, pressure at D must be negative 1.805 kilopascals. So that's it for the solution to this problem.